Welcome to a Star Wars review, and it is a fantastic Rebel Alliance Battle Pack. Number 75133 plus bonus, we got Sabine Ren. Let's go. This was, uh, uh, if you check out one of my previous videos, you will know that uh, this was a Makari purchase, and boy, I struck gold on this particular set. Originally, I was looking for uh, getting some additional Rebels to kind of for my Tatooine mock, which is right back over up in there. And uh, just because I love the idea of uh, for the Rebel Alliance having more than just humans, of course, we like our humans. Go, go, Sabine. But I think having some, um, you know, Roydian and Adaros and other, like some of these other aliens, there were tons and tons of planets involved uh, in the rebellion. So why are there not aliens? So this is the perfect pack that Lego put out. It was part of Star Wars Battlefront, um, released in 2016 uh, in January. It only lasted a year. Uh, I kind of wish it lasted like another year. I probably would have gotten maybe a couple of these. <laughs> so, um, and again, the all four of these figures are unique to the set. And I would say overall, this is sets holding its value. You know, used, uh, again, originally this was only $12.99. Lego could easily re-release this and sell it out for 15 bucks a piece. Or excuse me, for $15 new. Um, this is now going used at like the, the $20 range and new in box. It's definitely 30 plus easily, uh, if not more. So again, as this gets more and more uh, rare as time goes on, or at least new in box, it's going to be a pretty penny, especially with so many phenomenal uh, I would say uh, more and more mock builds as also you get more content around Cassian Andor, which is coming up uh, and it has potential to be great. So let's get into the set itself. Comes with one speeder, which is actually really nice. It's not oversized at all. There's some unique parts. You use these lance pieces. Uh, which is a pretty typical way to achieve that kind of that long speeder look. Um, there's the um, handlebars, um, nice little engine piece right there. And then I like, apparently this is going 28 kilometers or miles per hour, depending on what system you're using. Yeah, there's a really cool uh, back gun. So this is a two-seater. You don't see that very often. Usually you just have one seat. You could maybe do two with the sidecar, but this one there is a back gunner, so it's definitely a getaway uh, speeder. I like also that they use these thrust engines blocks for uh, uh, just kind of that extra exhaust look. Um, I like they put these, so it's very. This is definitely uh, kid friendly and pay playable. Looks the part. You've got the stud shooter for a little extra action. And uh, actually two stud shooters, right? Because you've got one on the side, one in the back. So that's really, really appropriate. Getting into the characters. Well, first of all, this is not part of the set. But since she was part of the purchase, oh, just look how good that figure is. Sabine, you are now part of my collection go go rubble so here are the they it came with stud shooters so i just kind of laying those out there put those to the side and let's jump into the figures so number one going uh to the uh, right to left is this guy right here he looks very sophisticated he's a um Rodian alliance fighter and uh yeah you see his video his his uh value is probably in that five six dollar range um this very standard rebel alliance type print very basic and back and then here's the head 
just like a single here's how that looks just like that so it's a little a little goofy not having a neck but these guys are a little goofy and apparently they were part of the rebel um his buddy greedo <coughs> was hunting down han solo then the next up is a rebel trooper with a jetpack. Wow, these are really cool. So this is just awesome to get. This is a, a printed piece right here. And uh, getting these little jetpacks, that is like phenomenal. Here he's kind of concerned face. Does not have a second. I love this little this little helmet. They just call it the standard rebel helmet. Again, this this guy is going in that that four to six dollars on Bricklink very standard overall i think that's definitely these guys are undervalued but there's really not too too much to their print they're pretty basic so i think that's where the value is kind of staying kind of stagnant but i think in terms of the helmet and the jetpack that is like that is awesome then next up we have rebel trooper with goggles this is almost like the tatooine version of the hoff uh trooper He's got kind of like a clone face. There he is. He's got grenades, all sorts of. He's a really full like officer here, um, or a trooper in this case. So there we go. So this will make really well for uh, for some Tatooine action right there. And then one of the jewels of this is Cad Bane's brother. No, I'm kidding. Just a, a Duros Alliance fighter look how awesome that is i do not even have ken bane but i have maybe somebody in his family who knows or at least somebody from his planet so he's just an alliance fighter with that same uh, jet pack there we go um so and then really a lot of the same pretty similar printing so he's got the um the the feet itself kind of match the roidian fighter um, but then this matches the other Rebel Trooper. So, real cool. Overall, I'm super glad to have gotten this back, this battle pack. There we go. Zooming in. And uh, you just can't, uh, I can't beat this. I think this is going to be phenomenal. I wish I had, like, maybe two of these would be nice. Uh, three tops. Uh, boy, if you th somebody threw in a Sabine, I would definitely, <laughs> I would keep buying more of these. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, more Star Wars reviews, make sure to like, subscribe. And uh, what do you think about these alien battle packs? Um, again, I'm a fan, but I want to hear your commentary on what you think. So till next time, we'll catch you on the next Star Wars review. Sabine out. <laughs>